What's going on, guys? Well, when I, if I told you that Adrian Broner was going to fight Garcia a few years ago, everybody was probably thinking, oh, DSG, Danny Garcia, that'd be a great matchup because AB is exciting, Angel's exciting. Both guys, um, you know, are PBC fighters or whatever that is. They, they fight underneath Al Heyman's uh, advisement. Um, and that would be the fight that everybody wanted to see. But Mikey Garcia, daring to be great, moving up weight. Again, fighting another great opponent. Um, Mikey Garcia, like I said before, is a guy who um, I think that he doesn't really love boxing, but he's great at it. And I think that he wants to make a lot of money, take big fights, and retire young, which honestly, that's the route to take, in my opinion, right? Maximize your um, physical prime and, you know, go down in legacy and as well as um, making a good life for your family in the future, right? But Mikey Garcia is, and Adrian and Broner have agreed to fight in um, on a Showtime card July 29th at 140 pounds, which Mikey Garcia admitted recently that It'll be hard for Adrian Broner to make weight. In his last fight against Adrian Granados, who he, who, who Broner looked extremely out of shape, extremely out of shape. In fact, he, he threw um, the total of 403 punches, only landing 166 punches, and in times in the fight looked very uninterested. And a lot of people thought that that fight was a draw, and maybe he, he didn't even, he lost that on points. And we're talking about Adrian Granados here, right? He's no Mikey Garcia. So... My biggest question in the fight and why I understand why a lot of people of, of, um, that are sound intellectually are saying, well, um, Broner's not going to be in shape. He's not going to wait. He's not going to uh, make the weight. It's going to be an issue for him. And I agree with all those things. Um, so that's kind of like having said that, like when I, when I thought about the fight, if you told me about this fight a few years ago, I definitely would lean towards Adrian Broner because Adrian Broner is a tough motherfucker. He has pop in his punches. He has quick cans. And he's a very durable fighter. He's able to, you know, my, you know, as good as Mikey Garcia is, he is very short, and he's a much smaller frame than Adrian Broner. Um, his last opponent, Zlatan Cannon, who he destroyed in impressive fashion, was, you know, what is he like five foot three, a very small guy. Um, and Adrian Broner, you know. Mikey Garcia is the type of guy who he times his power punches and he looks to hurt people, which obviously I enjoy, but I don't think he's going to be able to knock out Adrian Broner, even if Adrian Broner is out of shape. But I think the inactivity of Broner, right? The lack of punches, the lack of output, the lack of motivation, which, you know, that's being out of shape. Like, here's the thing. You could, you could, um, cakewalk or you, you, you could kind of coast through rounds and boxing, right? But throwing punches is takes energy, and throwing a lot of punches takes a lot of energy. And that's kind of why Adrian Broner, as output, has gone down incredibly. And, you know, the thing is, I know they're going to push this fight saying, now Adrian Broner is motivated. He, um, This is going to be the camp that, that he's finally in shape, and he's going to get his life together and right. Um, I don't, like, see that happening at all because Adrian Broner's life has been, you know, like I said, he, he's been arrested more times than he throws punches in fights recently, right? And yes, some of it's stupid and petty, but none of this indicates and shows that he's going to uh, come in motivated, willing to beat Mikey Garcia, right? And and, and Mikey Garcia is, is, you know, a lot of people were critical of him um, taking so many years off, but he's doing what he said he was going to do. And taking a fight like Adrian Broner is not only a good win for his resume, but it's good for his name because if he's somehow able to stop Broner, some, something that nobody's, ever been, nobody's been able to do, especially the fact that he was a champion at much more lower weight classes moving on up, I think that he's going to become another sphere in, in flirting with the mainstream uh, fighter title, especially the fact that the more mainstream he comes, the more... Uh, connection, I guess he gets to the Mexican American fan base, right? So this fight again, it, it's been announced at the, the end of July. No venue has been announced. I assume it's going to be either in Brooklyn or Vegas, because that seems to be where the bigger fights for PBC stable or P whatever that fuck that is or Showtime fighting um, is. Um, but I will say one thing, and whether you're, you, you're a, um, a PBC, I don't want to get all into the details and how I feel about this one way or the other. But this again is on Showtime. Um, why is it on Showtime? Because somehow these fighters have to get paid. And how do they get paid? They get paid through the budget of Showtime. And how does Showtime get a budget? They get a budget through subscribers. 
And then the executives in Showtime allocate a certain amount of money to thus pay for the uh, fighters' purses, right? There's a reason why this is not on the fucking Fox card, right? Because there's not – PBC is not making money with it. I, I mean I, I could do a whole rant about why the fuck is a washed up um, – two washed up fighters – Right, Guerrero, and I don't even—I totally forgot who even he was fighting. It, 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 it behooves my mind. Is headlining a Fox card where their argument is that oh, look at the views, look at the outreach they get. But this is on premium, right? Because again, the fighters have to get paid somehow. And both of these guys, right, Mikey Garcia and Adrian Broner, um, through um, both in-ring accomplishments and out-of-the-ring um, notoriety, demand large purses. I'm not saying they don't deserve it. Because these men, especially uh, Mikey Garcia and even Andrew and Broner, if you look historically, have done a lot of things in the ring to warrant a high payday and do good numbers, right? They got to get paid. So nobody's watching these PBC fights relative speaking to um, normal viewership. So you're not going to see fights like this. Hashtag free TV. Hashtag free boxing. That's all I have to say. Listen, I'm happy that this fight got made. This is an amazing fight. I just have to keep it real. And I don't think that, you know... Being a fan of a promoter, like nobody should be fans of any promoter or in any network. You could say you prefer one or the other, but as somebody who's objective and someone who is an observer of the sport, being critical of you know models and being uh, acknowledging the fact that, like I said, that you know they have to get paid somehow, that nobody's watching these with the amount of purses, how they can get money, et cetera, et cetera, doesn't mean you don't want boxing to succeed. It just means that you want it to succeed and you're honest about the actual, the actual. Um, I guess, ongoings in the sport itself. But anyways, my official prediction at the moment is I'm leaning slightly towards, only slightly towards Mikey Garcia via points because I think that he is going to come in um, in shape with activity. And I think the lack of shape and activity, um, also the hard weight cut Adrian Broner has to make, will um, tip the scales into Mikey Garcia. So Mikey Garcia, as of right now, via points, this could change. So thank you guys again for listening to my podcast um you guys sh- hopefully could sub- subscribe you um like and share and comment if you know any improvements and whatever you want to hear and you can criticize me i accept all um attention anyways later guys